So the concept of the board is a bit of a wider nose, this widish squash, um, a fish kind of feel to it, but without the swallowtail, obviously. The rail profile is not too fat and chunky like you get on some grovelers, and <coughs> the rails are a bit more thinned out than this type of board normally is, and the rails you can see harden up just in front of the fins. So that's designed to give the board a pivoty kind of feel. So if you get your foot over the back um, end of the board, obviously you do, but if you get your foot over the fins, then it's a pivoty kind of feel, which means you can tighten up your turns a little bit. And I think, uh, I haven't had a chance to surf it yet, but I think it's actually gonna be quite a fun little board. Um, forget about the mini Kalani Rob stuff. I think it's actually quite a nice shape. It's a nice concept and it's gonna work pretty well in um, anything else probably about chest high when you're gonna jump on something a little bit more performance as the waves improve. Um, it's got that fish kind of feel, like I said, you're gonna surf it rail to rail. It will go rail to rail. And that wider squash just gives you a bit more carry over the um, crappier sections of the wave. But yeah, as a, as a kind of a, a grovery type aspect to your quiver, if you tried a few other things and you fancy a nice um, Almeric edition, then yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Well done, Al. So, um, board done, don't forget, you can order a custom version of this bad boy, as you can do with any Channel Islands board through our customizer tool on the website. We also take trade-ins, um, we'll take absolutely anything, no matter what condition, and we'll give you a reasonable uh, appraisal of the value. And now, 0% finance, 0% deposit, 12 months worth of payments, um, spread your board over 12 months and make it far more affordable, 50 quid a month, whatever it is, for a 600 quid board makes it much less painful uh, for you anyway. Um, there it is, thanks for watching.